Do you ever feel bad telling your story or do, were you ever reluctant to tell your story because of the respect and love that you have for your mom? Oh and my. In, in, mm. you know, not casting her in a bad light. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. I have, uh, I have siblings that have never shared their story and it was, I had to have conversations with them once I got to this point in my life and it kind of happened by accident. I was like, when I said I was silent, a lot of people think that I'm like this extrovert. I've always been this way. I'm really an introvert um, with a lot of extrovert qualities. I like to say uh, I do a lot better speaking in front of a couple thousand people than I do with (laughs) one-on-one conversations. Uh Uh, I love my time, you know, alone, but it really came from a place of me trying to like attain this dream of becoming this professional athlete. Uh, I was a junior in college at the time and I I started to see myself as a leader and I realized that most of the leaders that I watched, admired and looked up to, they're very vocal leaders. And a lot of times they led with their story. And so it was my junior year in college when I first began to share my story. I didn't really know what it was or uh, why I felt prompted to do that, but I realized once I started sharing it, I connected better with my coaches who I really didn't have great relationships with. Um, I connected better with my teammates. I became a captain through some of that experiences, through that experience. And so I began to see some of the successes of sharing my story.